Now that the iPad Air got the M1 chip inside, you might think, this can definitely replace my laptop now, right? What's a computer? Well, no. But there's one accessory that gets it so much closer to doing so. This is the Logitech Combo Touch, and even though it's been out for a while, it's still my favorite and must-have accessory for the iPad Air. Here's why. All right, let's start off with price because let's face it, money matters, especially right now. The Logitech Combo Touch costs $200. Logitech has been putting the Combo Touch on sale recently, so you can definitely find it for cheaper if you look for it, but the regular retail price is $200, which isn't cheap, but it's definitely cheaper than Apple's really expensive Magic Keyboard for the iPad Air, which costs $300. Now the Magic Keyboard is pretty amazing, but the Combo Touch does have a couple of features that the Magic Keyboard doesn't. With that being said, let's get into actually using the Combo Touch. The iPad Air weighs a little over one pound and the Combo Touch by Logitech also weighs a little over one pound. The iPad Air is also about a quarter of an inch thick and with this case and the keyboard, the thickness more than doubles. So you're pretty much doubling in thickness and in weight when you put this Logitech Combo Touch keyboard case on your iPad Air. And you might think, well, that kind of defeats the whole purpose. The whole purpose of the iPad is that it's lightweight, you can take it anywhere with you, it's easy to carry. But that brings me to my favorite part of the Combo Touch. This keyboard that's on here can just snap right off. So when you don't need it, you can put it aside and it makes your iPad more like a tablet instead of a laptop. So it's a tablet when you want it and a laptop when you need it. Kind of a laptop, not really, because it still runs iPad OS. But you get what I'm saying. Very Surface Pro-like. Speaking of Surface Pro, the Logitech Combo Touch keyboard also has a kickstand on the back, which can be set to pretty much any angle. And that's also one of my favorite parts of this case. And the kickstand is really sturdy and you have the ability to move the kickstand at different angles depending on the type of work you want to get done. And that's really my favorite part of the Combo Touch. If you're done with work for the day, you can just remove that keyboard and it allows you to now watch some content on a regular tablet and you still have a case that protects the tablet. Now when you're ready to get some work done again, you can easily just grab that keyboard, snap it right back on and you have something that protects the front of the iPad Air as well. The magnets on here are also really strong. I've never had an issue where the keyboard accidentally fell off when I was putting it into a bag or using it. The keyboard can easily just come right off and it goes right back on with really no effort at all. It's, it's pretty easy to use. The look of the Combo Touch has also kind of grown on me. This is the Oxford gray color and it has this kind of fabric look and feel to it and I like it. It's different from all the rubber or plastic design that most cases have for tablets today. You have more of a harder plastic around the edges of the iPad which is great for protection and you also have an opening at the top so you can still store and charge your Apple Pencil like you normally would. This is a really well-built keyboard case. It's sturdy, it fits snug on the iPad Air, and even though it doubles the iPad size because having this keyboard, the thickness more than doubles and the weight as well, it's still relatively thin if you consider that this has a built-in kickstand and a keyboard. So you're getting a lot and it's still relatively compact, at least when you compare it to something like a laptop. Now, speaking of the keyboard, let's talk about it. I love it. I love it! <laughs> There's no need to charge the keyboard or pair it via Bluetooth because as soon as you attach the case, it instantly pairs via the iPad Air's smart connector. The iPad Air will not only instantly recognize the keyboard, but it's also gonna power it through those smart connectors. Now the keys on the keyboard are clicky and responsive, and it actually feels like you're typing on an actual laptop. Now it definitely beats Apple's similarly priced smart keyboard folio keys. I couldn't stand those, not very responsive, very mushy. These keys are very different. It's actually nice to type on this keyboard. The keys are also backlit, which allows you to get some work done at night if that's something that you wanna do. And up top, you even have a full row of shortcut keys which provide media controls, screen brightness controls, and more. So this is a great keyboard and it makes sense because Logitech has a lot of experience making keyboards and they make some pretty good keyboards as well. Now this also has a built-in trackpad and it's a good size as well. It's clicky and I didn't notice much lag when using it. That's probably thanks to it using Apple's smart connector. So 
It's really responsive. You also have the ability to use multi-touch trackpad gestures. So you can do things like pinch to zoom on Safari, which is great. And it literally feels like you're using a laptop's trackpad. I think I've said that a couple of times already, but this keyboard, it honestly feels like I'm using a regular laptop, not some limited tablet made Bluetooth keyboard. So yeah, if you're looking to replace your laptop with an iPad, the Logitech Combo Touch will get you as close as possible to that. It gives you an excellent keyboard and trackpad when you need it and a great kickstand and protection when you don't. And all for a price that's more reasonable than what Apple offers. I'll leave a link to the Logitech Combo Touch keyboard in the description below. Let me know what you think. Do you like the Logitech Combo Touch? Do you prefer another keyboard, trackpad, case solution for the iPad? Let me know with a comment down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos just like this one on tech news, reviews, and opinions, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one.